I'm Jenna with Stalls TV. After your heat transfers arrive at your doorstep, it's important to ensure all details are in line before starting to heat print the job for your customer. Doing so will reduce error, save blank garments and transfers, and ensure a quality product to deliver to your customers. Before applying, you want to be sure to check for accuracy. First, you'll want to inspect your order for accuracy upon arrival to give enough time to resolve any errors. You'll want to be sure to check the spelling in the text and also double check the colors. Some transfers have colors hidden behind another color and you won't be able to see it until it's heat printed. Another thing to look out for is whether or not it's the right size for the garment that it's being applied to. Whenever you take your transfers out, be sure to run your hands around the blank areas of the paper to check for overspray ink or adhesive in the screen printed transfers and count your transfer sheets to ensure you have enough to complete the order for your customers. Along with your order, you will receive one extra transfer for testing purposes. With each transfer order that you get, instructions will be provided in the box. Be sure to read these instructions carefully. Each order includes instructions for the heat application, and this includes time, temperature, pressure, as well as other tips and details required for application. Some transfers require a hot or cold pill as well as additional cover sheets. Always be sure to pre-press your garment. This is important so that you remove moisture and wrinkles from the fabric of the garment. Take caution when using other heat presses other than a Hotronics. If your press doesn't give a digital readout of your temperature or pressure, then it's best to increase your temperature 10 degrees to account for inaccurate temperature readings. As I mentioned earlier, there is at least one extra transfer included with all custom transfer orders from Transfer Express. Use this to cut the transfer into four pieces to give four test prints. Use an extra blank garment or scrap fabric in the same fabric content as the blank apparel you will be applying to. If you're applying a 100% cotton t-shirt, use a 100% cotton test fabric. Test the transfer according to the instructions provided and adjust heat press settings as needed. If you're storing your transfers, be sure to store your heat transfers properly. You'll want a climate controlled environment like an office or home and try to avoid areas like basements, garages, or crawl spaces. Make sure you're keeping your transfers away from extreme heat and cold and extreme humidity and dryness. You can use the Transfer Express boxes to keep your transfers stored in for easy labeling. This area on the box is for labeling to know the contents of each box. I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and thanks for watching. At Stalls TV, we're always creating new videos and classes to help your business stay on top in the competitive, decorated apparel world. So we don't want you to miss any of it. So sign up here for StallsTV.com, where you'll get exclusive access to live videos, events, and tools to help make your business more successful. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you'll get constant updates on new videos, or click here to view the webpage for the products you just saw in this video.